Big numbers are dazzling. The success of online marketplaces is dizzying. Having an online marketplace is clearly an extremely lucrative business, but it's in no way easy to build a successful one. Make enough mistakes and even a business like a marketplace, which we believe is quite easy to succeed at, can become a bad idea. One of the reasons for online marketplaces failing comes from entrepreneurs who take things too lightly and dive right in without researching and planning for potential risks and obstacles. 10 Worst Mistakes Online Marketplaces Make So, to make sure that you don't make the mistakes that many online marketplace owners make, we've compiled a list of the 10 worst mistakes online marketplaces make. Number one, confusing an online marketplace with an e-commerce store. Are they the same thing? No, no, and no. An online marketplace is a digital sales channel for a group of businesses that sell a similar product, while an e-commerce store is an online storefront for a single business. For example, Uber sells food from different restaurants as an online marketplace, while Domino's produces the food it takes orders for on its website. It's an e-commerce store. Each model has its pros and cons. Online marketplace pros makes it easy for businesses to acquire new customers. Helps your brand get recognition in highly competitive markets. More consumers trust established marketplaces over a new website. Online marketplace cons? Lack of specialized features and marketing. Weak brand impression due to packaging and branding protocols. E-commerce store pros? Faster response to consumer trends. Strong brand impression. Freedom to showcase as many products as you like. E-commerce store cons? Lesser credibility especially with newer websites. Heavy reliance on just one website. Internet security concerns. Interestingly, it's estimated that 95% of all purchases in the US would come from the US by 2040. In fact, 59% of millennials go to Amazon first when they want to purchase something. Two, not assessing business risks. And what is the risk? Yes, you can't completely avoid risks, but you can surely plan for them. Assessing business risks gives you a head start that nothing else can. It helps you prepare for the worst case scenarios, as well as get the most out of worst case scenarios. There used to be a popular streaming site called Blockbuster in 2004, which was a market leader in the industry at that time. But as it failed to assess the risk of competition from smaller market players like Netflix, it went bankrupt in 2010. Hence, it's essential to assess risks to survive and thrive in any market. Three, lack of transparency in business. Tell the truth. No business wants to be seen in a bad light by their customers. But in many situations, you need to be honest and upfront with your stakeholders to help you get out of tight spots without your credibility being questioned. For example, as an online marketplace, you need to be upfront about the tracking of customer orders, wait lists, and possible delays. Four, creating problems instead of finding an existing one. Find the problem and he found the problem. There are several startups and online businesses that are struggling or going bankrupt. Not because there's something wrong with the industry, but because these businesses are solving problems that no one has. Recently, a messaging app was launched that allowed you to send only yo to people. Although it might have sounded like an interesting idea to some people as the startup received $1 million in funding, it failed eventually because no one actually really needed it. Five, bad category management. New category. 
If you want to eat Mexican, you wouldn't want to sort through thousands of restaurants offering gazillions of different food options. And that's where categories help a customer. From sorting options by cuisines, prices and eateries, categories make your marketplace so much more manageable. But if your category management isn't up to the mark and is difficult to navigate through, it defeats the entire purpose of having categories and makes the customer reluctant to return to your site. Z has features that help you manage and add categories to your site in an effective way so you don't have to worry about problems that arise out of bad category management. 6. Improper Customer Management Tell me more! The customers are bombarded with options in today's digital age and bad service or lack of attention to their reviews and feedback would eventually make them move on to a different option. You have to give your customer a good reason to stay with your business and that can be easily done by making your online marketplace more interactive where a customer's challenges are heard and acted upon. In fact, According to Forbes, 96% of customers leave businesses due to bad services. You don't need to worry too much about bad customer management, as Z can help you with it. Z's customer management feature helps you manage the name, email, and status of your customers. It also helps you track active and inactive customers to make communication with them easier. Seven. Launching without a prototype. Prototype, huh? Uh -huh. Before you venture out into a new marketplace, it's essential to gain at least some bit of footing before that. A prototype of your online marketplace helps you with just that. It also helps you get a general reaction to your actual product and if people would be interested in investing in it or not. It also helps you analyze the design and feasibility of your website. Hence, it's always a smart choice to launch a prototype to understand your consumers as well as your own site's design better. Eight, not figuring out if you should start with buyers or sellers. Where should I start? As a new online marketplace that's yet to attract both sellers and buyers and work on the acquisition and retention of both, it can be quite difficult to figure out where to start. And starting from the wrong end is one mistake that several online marketplaces make. For example, if you're a food delivery chain, it would be ideal to attract good eateries and restaurants to your marketplace before you attract customers. This way, the eateries would bring their loyal customers to your marketplace, as well as give you products through which you can attract new customers. 9. The user interface isn't user friendly. When it comes to an online marketplace, easy site navigation and interactive site design are two key features that you must consider while designing your online marketplace. Because no user wants to waste their time on a site that takes forever to load, has extremely complex navigation, and is very difficult to interact with can be for browsing, payments, leaving feedback, and so on. Now, you don't even need to put in a lot of effort to design a user-friendly and interactive marketplace. You can easily do so by using Z, which helps you manage everything from categories, tracking, customer management, payment integration, and so on. 10. Not setting milestones for your business. Not setting milestones is one of the major aspects that leads to the failure of an online marketplace or any business in general. Let's take the example of the Polaroid. Founded in 1937, Polaroid was a well-known brand in instant films and cameras, but it failed to set new milestones for its business and was heavily dependent on its present products and current market. But eventually, the product and technology went obsolete and Polaroid went bankrupt in 2001. There are several examples of business giants like Polaroid which were brought to their knees because they failed to set milestones and work towards business growth. Hence, you should surely not commit such a mistake with your online marketplace. 
How to avoid common mistakes. Know what an online marketplace or e-commerce store would work better for your business. If you're an established offline brand trying to go online, then an e-commerce store might work for you. But if you're a new business, it's better to go for an online marketplace. Study all the external and internal risks related to the market. You can do so by researching your competitors, getting in touch with industry leaders, groundwork, hiring mentors, and so on. Be honest with your customers. The digital world works on the fiber of reliability. Hence, transparency in your work is foundational. Don't skip the stage of idea valuation. Find out what your family, friends, and most importantly, your target audience thinks about your marketplace. Put a good amount of thought into your website, its design, features, etc. Efficient website design goes a long way for an online marketplace. Get a considerable number of sellers on board. These people will be your first team and bring in your first customers. Hence, it's essential to get sellers before you try getting buyers for your marketplace. Have foresight for your business expansion or exit to keep up with innovation and change in technology. So, these were the 10 worst mistakes that online marketplaces commit that are a huge hindrance to their success. And all you need to do is put the right thought and effort into your business to avoid them. Speak to these experts. We've built marketplaces in USA, LATAM, Europe, Middle East, and Asia. Book a call.